Um, so at this point, what I'm going to do, I think, look at this propellant. I'll take, uh, we don't need any propellant really to get back for the rest of this mission. So we can, I can drop off most of this into here. Oops, did that the wrong way. I want to put it into our station. And then let's put some in here. Oops. Fill this thing up. There we go. That's all full. And let's first let's, uh, enable these ports again so I can uh, control this thing. I think that's all of them. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, we will undock this and then we'll select maybe this port and control from here RCS on and need to flip this thing around oops I bumped into it it's not really that big a deal this thing's so light and we're going so slow that it's not really a problem. And the line up here, like this. <laughs> I really should probably have just backed up a little bit. Um, let's, let's get it lined up more at the angle, like that. We'll figure it out from here. So let's turn our RCS back on. Oh, I see. I left a port off. That's why I'm having a little bit of control issue here. There we go. Really controlling this thing is about as easy as... Um, it's very similar to controlling like a Kerman while you're doing an EVA. Just gotta get lined up here. I'm doing this mostly by eye. I'm not really looking at my gauges, which is apparently part of my problem because I missed. So back up a little bit here. There we go. And there's our drone attached. And let's see. <clears throat> let's, at this point, we still have crew in our space station as well as this back here. So let's, um,. Click on the right thing. Oops. Or did we... No, I, I guess there's still guys in there. For some reason I can't right click and see who's in there. So I think I'm going to have to remember here, these three are the ones that are currently in here, I believe. So let's uh, go to the back of the list, this list, let's get Will to go on EVA and see where he's at. He's in this back one. I need to leave one person in this back one though, um, to make it easier to control here after a while, whenever I undock these, I need a guy in here to basically turn the SAS on. So let's, uh, 
go forward here. And let's put him in the very back. Seems to be enjoying his little ride here. Oops. There we go. F. And get him bored. Okay. And let's go to the back of our list again. I'm assuming Bob. It's a. Uh, I'm assuming he's in the... That's a little buggy looking. Um, I don't know what that is. Let's see. I'm assuming he's the guy back here. So let's... Let's turn our SAS off so that's not freaking out. So let's put uh, this guy on EVA. See where he pops out. Yep. Okay, so... Oops. Accidentally made him bored. <laughs> EVA, get back out there. I'm going to uh, have him let go. RCS on. Have him hop in the back as well. Oops. Go down. Oops, missed my opportunity there. I tend to forget where my F key's at while I'm doing this. My fingers are all over the place. F. Dang it. F. Okay, there we go. And board. And let's see. That leaves one guy in here, I believe. Yep. I don't know what I did differently to get that to pop open. Has to say crew hatch, I guess. I have to actually click a match, and we got one guy in here. Perfect. That's what we want. Now we want to um, oops, not do that. We want to decouple from here, right? Uh, I don't want to close the shield. Want to undock? There we go. So we got our one guy in here. Uh, I did manage to forget to give this propellant, which is annoying, but I think we can manage without it. And let's hop back in this real quick, and let's turn our RCS on for two seconds and um, back away from this thing. that and I think I'm actually gonna leave this here that way in case something else needs to dock and we need an adapter it's up here and we have this guy to uh, maneuver it around and place it somewhere else if he needs to so something else can hook on so I'm gonna leave the adapter here and just use that as a tool and uh, nope, I don't want to control I want to undock there we go <clears throat> so let's Back away here. And let's try and... Maneuver around our station. We're leaving one guy in the station uh, to make sure things continue to operate well while we're away. maneuver around this thing. Let's uh, hop back in this ship now and what we're doing with this ship is basically getting rid of it so let's maneuver it about like that so it's at least facing the right way. Hop back into this ship set as target control from here and we will let's see slow down 
turn our stuff off. Get angled towards that port there. Hold. RCS on. Come in about like that. That's all looking good to me. As long as it holds that position. As long as we don't clip the station, it doesn't look like it. It kind of looks like we will, but I'm pretty sure we're clear. Let's hop back into the other ship here. Set as target. And let's get, try to get this lined up a little better. Right about there. Have it hold like that. That looks fine. It's a little off, but it should take care of itself, I think. There we go. And let's hop into this ship here, turn its SAS off, turn the RCS off as well for now. That uh, Let that sort itself out. And we'll sit in here, extend the solar panels. Close the shield. Extend. Extend. Double check to make sure that we've only left one guy in here. Where's the crew hatch at? It's here. Yep, one guy, just as planned. And we will switch back over to. Yep, they've combined. So let's uh, let stabilize itself for now. And where's our crew hatch here? It's over. It's on the other side. Let's get our last guy out, Bob, and have him uh, get in the middle pod over here. Turn your RCS on, and grab onto there, board, there we go. So done deal. We've uh, managed to push this out as planned. Now that's all, all that's left to do is to um, deorbit this and destroy it and um, get our guys home. So let's figure out a plan of action for that. Let's actually, real quick, before we do that, um, turn our SAS off real quick and get facing something like this, I guess. I'm not doing anything perfect here. Just trying to, um... I did actually forget to give this thing some fuel back, because we don't need all this fuel, but... Uh, a little late for that. Oh well. At this point, I am just, uh... maneuvering away. So we don't have to worry about running into that. Almost used up all of our propellant, but again, that's not something we really need. So, turn our RCS off now. Now let's figure out our course. Um, put it about here or so. We want to slow ourselves down. Let's try and figure out where we're going to land here. Ooh! Let's see if we can't get, uh, I'm not looking to land directly at home, but let's see if we can't get close. Or, yeah, this is our home base right here. So I'd like to, I'd like to land in the ocean over here. That's my goal. Let me get that back into an orbit and move this somewhere over here. That's uh, still pretty high. Oops. Drop that down to 
30. Yeah, let's try for that. I think that'll do it. It should, that's, that's low enough that uh, we should deorbit. I'm not sure exactly where we'll land, but uh, we'll find out. As you can see, I've kind of positioned it about over the top of our home base, so it's kind of an experiment, I guess. 36 kilometers. We'll find out. So in the meantime, let's um, go out of our map and get this thing flipped in the uh, right direction, which is... Um, I don't know. Uh, the other way. We're facing the wrong way. So I should do a complete flip around. Somewhere over here. Should pop up. Alright, yeah, actually it's going to be a little farther off because uh, we have a long time, or we have a while until we move into position. Oops, pressing the wrong way, and right about there. So let's uh, speed up time, and I'll see you about when it's time to burn. Okay, just a minute now before it's uh, burn time, so let's do a little bit of correction, get this a little bit more on target. Again, not like it hugely matters. We're not going for a gold medal in landings or something. But uh, I just want to get... My, my goal is to get on this in this ocean next to our base. Looks like it's going to be dark by the time we land, though, so that kind of sucks. But uh, what are you going to do? 20 seconds or so. I'm going to go ahead and start the burn a little bit here. Doesn't seem like it's going to take that long, so... Check our map and see how that's looking. Just got an email. It's nothing important. This has moved, hasn't it? It was over here. Let's uh, stop in just a second. So yeah, it looks like we're gonna fall short. We're gonna fall in this ocean, it looks like, but uh, that's fine. And uh, let's switch back over to, or out of our map. And there that goes. Off to do uh, whatever it's going to do. Uh, mission's nearly over at this point. Let's see. I'm going to triple check here, make sure. Okay, empty. Good. That's what we want. Um, are we going to land in the lit side or night side? It looks... I don't know. It's hard to tell if it's going to be day or night. Let's speed up time a little bit here. Yeah, I'm kind of retarded because I forgot the planet moves. That's why uh, this is probably in the same spot, just where our location was moved. I uh, did not calculate that at all, so... I'm not going to land anywhere that I think I'm going to, so uh, good job me. It looks like we're going to land on land, which is not ideal at all. Hopefully we're going to be okay. I think we will, though. Let's see, we are probably getting close to hitting the atmosphere at this point. Oh, no, we still got a little ways off. Um, at this point, though, I am going to try and dispose of the actual this other ship so let's um let's get rid of that now nope I don't want to control from there I want to no I want to get rid of it We're a little high up and all but it should uh, fall into the atmosphere same as we are 
Let's see, undock. We're controlling the wrong thing here. Let's RCS on and push ever so slightly away from this thing. So that uh, we know that's not going to be a problem. Let's see. That's actually... Um, I'm not going to worry about that action. Let's forget that. Um, move this. Coming in towards the atmosphere now. Let's see which way do we want to... We need to get rid of... This tank, which way do we want to put, let that thing go? Let's kind of do the same thing as we just did with the other piece there. Let's try and flip around before we actually... We only have a little bit more time before we hit the atmosphere here. Hold about there. Doesn't have to be too accurate. This thing has a jet, so it will push itself away from us. So let's do that now. There we go. There's that gone. And uh, we really need to be facing the other way for re-entry. Uh, the way this thing is designed, anyway. So let's do that. We have no uh, RCS fuel or anything like that at this point, so it's all... just controlled by... Whatever else at this point, let's see. We want to ideally now that we're like this, turn around. So our parachutes are facing up. There we go. Um we are starting to slow down now due to uh coming through the atmosphere. Now it's about 30 kilometers or so that we start having atmospheric effects, I believe. So that's about when we should really start slowing down. Let's check our... Hoping we don't skip off the atmosphere. I don't think we will. If we do, that'll be a mission totally failed. Well, this is coming in pretty quick. Hopefully it starts to come in quicker. Or we will be having problems. There's the uh, re-entry effects. And effect. This is, what was that, like uh, 30 three kilometers or so. Let's check our map. Make sure... Yep, we're really coming in now. Good. Good, good, good. Looks like that's getting pushed out and we will probably be coming in who knows where. Still getting a re-entry effect. Uh, our camera's changed. Looks like we will, will be coming to the ocean, maybe. Perfect. Looks like we got ocean. So I'm going to wait for this uh, to stop burning the outside of our ship here, and then I'll start to eject these pods. I mean, holding a weird angle, but that's fine. It just means we're probably slowing down a little faster. Okay, yep, we're going to be in this ocean. I'm fine with that. Not the ocean I wanted, but it works. We're still going way stinking fast which uh, explains why we're still getting burns out here, but hopefully that will uh, ease up in a moment. This is the longest I've ever had burn effects going on, I will say that. I think it's because we the angle that we came in through at. It's a very uh, long angle through the atmosphere. Okay, almost below 800 meters a second now. Altitude still dropping, as that makes sense. I don't know why I even said that. Okay, 
burn effect is almost gone and start launching the pods and once we hit under 500 meters a second I think I'll do it there we go I designed it so we all launch separately so it's a little safer let these uh, continue to cause drag to slow us down check on our other guys here Uh, this just is a bug where it doesn't show all the people in your thing. There's three guys in there even though it doesn't show them all. It's just pointing that out because uh, one of the other ones said that there's nobody in it. And the other one I think was also missing somebody as well. What is it? Uh, is it what's the height where these fully deploy? Is that like 500 meters or something? I can't really remember. I think it's 500 meters. No, it seems like it's really, really low. <laughs> Still falling uh, about 100 meters a second. I assume, the, I assume those are in a similar position. That uh, opened up and ripped off our SAS module. Just fine. These guys are all doing okay. Kurach is facing up. For convenience. Not on this one, but. Ten meters a second. Less than uh, sixty meters left until we're in until we splash down. And there we go. That's three safe so far. Cut the parachute. I don't want to though. So three safe. And I assume these are gonna be just fine. Here we go. Did you die? Nope, he's fine. And so are the two over here. So there you go. That's uh six Kerman brought back home safely. Um, two ships, obsolete ships that were deorbited. Uh, the space station moved farther out, and we also left a little mini drone up there, should it be needed. And um, we have left this little piece of debris up, but that's okay. This one we also left up from before. I think that's uh, in a decaying orbit though. It's pretty close anyway, it's not. KRC lander. Can't remember what that was. Anyway, uh, that is a mission successful in my book. We got a lot of stuff done and I got to test out some stuff that I had planned for the future. Next time, I'm not really sure what I will be doing. I, I wanted to basically design something that acts as like a mothership that is uh, basically has a hangar in it to hold other ships and we could do uh, multiple missions from the one ship without having to come back here and launch other ships it would be a couple episodes resupplying it and everything before I could take off but unfortunately I'm having a hard hard time designing something that I can get up I've, I wanted to have it be a modular ship design where it would go up in like really big parts but to make a essentially a huge ship but um, I can't get a design that really works well whenever like I can't get it up so I've basically spent two days playing around with stuff to do that but uh, I got nothing so far so I guess I'll poke around with that a little bit more if I can't get that done I will instead do something less and um, maybe take a mission to let's see Duna I think although it's on the other side it's pretty far away I'd have to wait 
for us to get closer to it. It's not a huge deal, I just speed up time, but <coughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess we could go to Duna. I'm not sure what kind of mission Gilly was at. Oh, that's uh, what am I focused on here? Eve, okay. Um, what was I saying? I've lost my train of thought. I was saying something. I don't remember what now. Oh, I don't know what kind of mission I'll do at Duna. Uh, maybe I'll test out something else. I've kind of uh, something else I've made up. A bit of a rover slash lander design. Uh, maybe I'll try putting that to the test and kind of maybe build a small space station just to practice with uh, building basically things in space. So it can do. Uh, so it's basically a full Duna uh, mission control center. So it'll probably have uh, a couple of those little drones on it, a uh, satellite or two, so we can put a satellite around Duna as well as put a satellite around its moon. I think it has a moon. Yeah. Ike. So we'll get a satellite around this, a satellite around Ike, uh, get a lander down, as well as a rover that... Uh, or two different rovers probably, one that's a robotic rover and one that actually attaches to our lander so the lander can travel around on the surface. Uh, I may need to design a few other things as well. I'll probably try to get two landers on my thing so I can send one to Ike as well. So we basically just have a full Duna mission control center without having to send multiple missions up from home. So. I think that's what I'll do, I'll work on next time. Another really long series of missions, but that's it for this episode. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed seeing me uh, improve in docking, as well as uh, the whole success of the mission. And uh, I will see you on the next one, where I believe we'll be going to Duna. Uh, if you'd like to see me do something else, or uh, like for me to plan some kind of mission, by all means, suggest, and uh, I'll see what I can do. Also, uh, I'm up for interesting ship designs that do various things. Um, oh, I, I need to actually bring this up before I uh, before I quit here. Um, space Center. Actually, no, we can end our flight now that we've finished our mission. Yes, in flight. Here's a whole list of everything that uh, has happened since I started this up again because I don't think it remembers things from before. Yeah, this is all re-entry stuff it looks like. So, it does, it's not the full mission log really. Outcome flight ended, okay. So, let's go to... Let me go to my tracking station for like two seconds because I think there's... Can we get some stuff down here that we don't need? Um, And this, yeah, because that was our, and in that, because that was part of our last mission, I don't know what that is, so I guess we'll leave it up there as debris, and in this, That's part of our crew as well. I need to rename this now because I've put that drone on there. It's named that. Um, okay, so there's all that done. Uh, let's go back. And I need to point out that I do have a few mods on again. Um, I, I don't know all the names of the mods offhand. Uh, I won't list them in this video uh, just because um, they weren't related to this video. But next video I'll probably list them. Um, I don't think anything was added here, but uh, part of it is part of the... Oh, I forgot the name of it, like, all of a sudden. Something Punch. It's like one of the biggest ones on there, and I can't remember the names. But uh, it's not all the parts, I just selected a few parts from that. So, because I, I don't need, like... I'm trying not to be cheaty about it, I don't need, like, a billion 
different kinds of engines or anything. There's a few things added here. One of the, the mods was from this. Again, I don't know the name of hand. It just adds like fuel tanks and stuff like that are shaped like this. Um, there's these RCS, big RCS modules, but that's from uh, whatever it's punch. I, c I cannot for the life of me remember what that's called right now. I don't know why. Um, I kept the fairings again from that mod that I can't remember the name of. Uh, oh, I have these on here too, just because I was going to screw around with these, but I haven't figured out what I'd actually do with them yet. Um, this is one that I've actually just changed the default thing. This is from when I was trying to make a, a larger ship things with like hangar bays and stuff. It's just a one of these that I've made bigger. Now just some of the stats to try to make it fair as far as uh, the weight and stuff. But um, that's what that is. I did that with something else too. This Delta Wing. I made a big one of those just playing around and testing stuff. Although it doesn't look like it's actually made it any bigger. I, I did that actually before I started this video so this is the first time I've actually seen it. So I did the, apparently did not do that right. I messed something up there. But what I actually wanted to bring up was the fact that I had like, these robotic parts. Again, don't remember the name of the mod offhand. But it just, like this rotates back and forth and stuff like that. So I can come up with some different like things that actually move and do things like that. So if you have any ideas as far as... I kind of got off topic there again, didn't I? If you have any ideas as far as um, ship designs or anything like that, I'm up for hearing thoughts on that. Um, but mostly I'm curious if you have like interesting ideas, not just like, oh, make a lander or something, but something that does something specific. Um, I can't think of an example right now, otherwise I wouldn't be asking you, I guess. But uh, for realsies this time, um, ending the video. So yeah, I'll see you next time on Kerbal Space Program. Goodbye!